COVID-19 has really devastated every community in this country. And for some states, they are reporting it is really impacting the African-American community the most, with black patients dying at a much higher rate than any other groups. WMAR 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us live tonight from Sinai Hospital. Ray, you had a chance to talk to a doctor tonight who was researching this issue even before the outbreak. Yes, and she found because of social disparities such as lack of resources and access to health care in the African-American community puts them more at risk of having a severe case of the coronavirus. That's why city and state leaders are urging the health department to include race and zip codes in their coronavirus data in hopes to better protect a community that seems to be the most vulnerable. We've seen some of the numbers from around the country, and it's pretty frightening. As cases of the coronavirus continue to grow nationwide, some states are finding one community in particular is being hit the hardest. About a third of the hospitalizations are for African Americans, even though they make up about 20 percent of the national population. Dr. Susan Mani is the chief population health officer at LifeBridge Health in Baltimore. For the past two years, she's collected data on social disparities in the African American community to help improve health outcomes. Dr. Mani says inequalities such as lack of resources and access to health care makes African Americans more likely to have pre-existing conditions. We're finding hypertension, uh, obesity, and certain underlying diseases like cardiovascular disease. And it is thought that there is a greater prevalence of some of those in our African-American population. But the scope of exactly how widespread the disparities are across the country remain unknown because right now only eight states are including race when reporting coronavirus cases. Currently, Maryland is not one of those states. Without the data, we're literally shooting in the dark. Tuesday, Governor Larry Hogan directed the state health department to include demographic breakdowns of race in the state's coronavirus data. The move came after Delegate Mosby and more than 70 other lawmakers urged the governor to do so. But Mosby says the governor needs to go a step further and include zip codes as well. Data will literally tell us um, what communities are impacted the most, um, what communities we need to go after, uh, and ensuring that we have a plan that's effective and equitable as relates to engagement, uh, testing, and treatment. Baltimore Mayor Jack Young expressed his support to release the data during a news conference today, but he says he's been waiting on the state to give them the information. We asked for that information, but the state has it. And Baltimore City Council introduced legislation to direct the city's health department to include race and zip codes in their coronavirus data as well. Dr. Mani, who is a part of the state's coronavirus task force, says that information could be available as soon as Friday. Live in Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News. All right.